morning guys it is Thursday morning and I am just sitting down with my morning routine I've got a cup of coffee I've just put together my to-do list for the day um, not a lot going on today I'm doing a bunch of bulk cooking doing a lot of um, school snacks and I thought you guys might be interested in seeing how I do that um, it's just one day I prep a bunch of food fill my freezer my fridge um, and today I'm focusing on a bunch of stuff that is suitable for snacks for my boys, um, whether it be to take to school for school snacks or, you know, after school snacks. So I thought you guys might be interested in seeing that. So I thought I would do a little bit of a vlog today and share that with you. Um, I'm going to get started on that in a little bit. My boys are still sleeping and they like to help with that sort I'm of going thing. to clean, chop, and portion celery, carrots, and grapes. Obviously I won't be chopping any grapes, but anyways. I'm going to portion out pretzels and crackers into little individual size snack bags. I'm going to make crock pot applesauce, which is something that is new to me. I've never made it before, but it seems pretty simple. My kids love applesauce, and um, you know, apples are getting to the point where they're pretty cheap now, so it's that apple season's coming up, so I thought that would be a good thing to make, and if we enjoy it, I will make it multiple times this winter, or this fall, rather. Um, I'm going to make some Rice Krispie Treats. I thought that would be a nice little snack for them. Um, we don't eat that sort of thing very often around here. I'm going to make some oatmeal peanut butter bars, which are really, really simple. They're just three ingredient um, oatmeal bars that my kids love. And I'm going to make some apple cider muffins. A lot of this will fill my freezer. Obviously, the, um, the fruits and vegetables, or well, the vegetables will get eaten up first. Um, I think the applesauce will keep for a little while and the things like pretzels and crackers obviously keep forever. The muffins and the bars can go in my freezer so this should last us for a good long time. Keep my kids in snacks. I like the concept of being able to just grab a quick snack as soon as they get home from school or to take with them to school. Um, have everything ready already. Um, my kids have a snack every day after school so hopefully you guys will enjoy this process and uh, Maybe get some tips and tricks for your own families. So, for now, I'm gonna go finish that coffee and get that reading. All right, guys, so we're getting started on our baking, and we're going to be doing the applesauce first because obviously that's going to take the longest in the crock pot. So, I've just pulled out all of my apples. I've got a mixture of gala apples and just Michigan apples and um, Granny Smith apples. So, I'm going to wash and peel these and then chop them up and get them ready to go into the crock pot. I used to have one of those um, all-in-one slicer core things. I can't find it anywhere, so it looks like I'm going to have to chop these by hand, which is kind of a bummer because it's going to take a lot longer, but um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on that and uh, I'll kind of show you progress throughout. This is my mom peeling apples. Are you putting this in a video? Mm -hmm. Did you, do you think the camera heard me? Probably. I'm a good director. Okay. Slash cameraman. Slash director. So I am just peeling these apples and I'm not doing a very um, pretty job, but it doesn't really matter. And then I am just um, submerging them into a little bit of cold water to try to stop some of the browning process while I get the rest of them. Um, you can see little hands grabbing for the peels. None of these peels are going to waste because my little helpers here are eating them. So. <laughs> exactly how many pounds of apples this is. I know that I used three Granny Smith, a handful of the Michigan apples, and then the smaller ones there are the Gala apples. Uh, I'm going to be sweetening this with a little bit of brown sugar, so hopefully the uh, Granny Smith apples, um, the sugar and the sweeter apples will balance it and it'll be all right. Um, so I'm just going to chop these now, and like I said, I have to chop them by hand. I decided to grab my little melon baller because I think that um, I'm going to just cut the apples in half and pull the core out of the apple with this and then um, that'll make it a little bit easier. So we'll see Smith how that apple. goes. I'm going to just cut it directly in half. I'm supposed to be helping with that. Pull the 
stem, obviously, and then use my melon baller to just scoop out the seeds and the core of the apple. Show it to the camera. The Show the apple to the camera. And then there is that. I'm just going to, um, you know, pull this little end out too. I zoomed in so that they could see what you And then there's the apple completely clean. Do the other side. I'm sure you'll chop the apple up. I don't need your commentary letter. And no eating the seeds. That's my son's little tip for you. No eating the seeds. My so dad then, said they were poisonous. There is arsenic in apple seeds. You have to eat a, a lot of them for them to hurt you, but... And then I'm just going to cut them into slices. Chop them up. And get them right back into the cold water again to hopefully stop the browning process. And move on to the next one. I'm going to do the same thing with these little apples. Cut it in half. Melon baller. Use the melon baller to pull out the and core. You a lot less with those apples because they're so small. That's true. And you took out like um, a Do you want me to end apple. the video? Nope. Keep going. I better get you chopped. I'm gonna be mad. I wish mad I had a melon ball. Well, too bad. And then we'll chop this into slices as well. Now, do you want me to add the yeah. kind of All right, so you can see I've got all my apples in my crock pot. It filled it almost entirely up. Um, I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. I'm not really gonna measure. My apples are pretty juicy, but I just wanna make sure it's got enough water there. Um, I can always add more. And I'm going to spice this up with a little bit of cinnamon and brown sugar. So if my helper would like to come over here. But again, I'm not measuring. Just go ahead and sprinkle some in there on top. A little bit more. That's good. And I will add more when this is all done cooking as well. And my other little helper here is going to do the brown sugar. <laughs> a whole spoon. First I'm doing a little bit so I can spread it out. And now I get more time doing it. Just take a whole spoonful. Alright, I'll finish up now, buddy. Mm. Just add some brown sugar. You oversized it. Here you go. Take this. Just a and I'm just going to get the lid on this and cook it. I think I'm going to cook it on high for like four or five hours. I'm just going to keep an eye on it. I know that it's going to smell delicious. Cannot wait. So I'm going to mix this up, get the lid on, get it going, and then get moving on with the next, um, the next thing. All right. So we've gone ahead and cleaned up our mess from the applesauce. And while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and work on my next little project, which are muffins. You can see here I'm cheating, um, not doing them from scratch. I got these on a really good deal. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and do it this way. Sometimes I make them from scratch, sometimes I use a box, whatever. Um, I'm going to be making apple cider muffins. I'm going to get about a dozen of those and then a half a dozen of these honey brand muffins. I'm going to go ahead and get those working and in the oven and then um, move on to the next step. So I'm just going to line my muffin pans here with some muffin liners and get this going in my KitchenAid mixer. So these are just add milk, really simple simple recipes. I've got my muffin tins full and just as I anticipated I got a dozen of the apple cider muffins and a half a dozen of the honey brand muffins. I'm just going to slide these into the oven at 425 for like 15 to 18 minutes. And then these will be done. So we're gonna get these in, clean up this mess, and we're gonna switch gears, and I think we're gonna chop some vegetables. All right, switching gears now to something a little more savory. I've got a bunch of celery and carrots here. I'm going to peel the carrots and get everything washed up and chopped up just into, you know, smaller sticks and these will go into our refrigerator all clean and prepped and ready to go um, no real cooking involved here just kind of prepping things getting them ready so that the kids can just grab them out of the fridge as they need and uh, it just makes things a little bit easier so I'm going to go ahead and get started on that I'm working on getting this celery all prepped look at how dirty ew so I'm gonna get this all washed up get the carrots peeled and everything chopped and put into baggies it's coming along. 
This is my mom chopping celery. Sorry if it's boring. We can blame her, but still leave her a like. <laughs> Some of these bigger, fatter pieces, I just do in half like this. Um, and they're just, you know, easy to grab then, and you can dip them in cereal. No, you can dip them in peanut butter or cream cheese. Sometimes Ooh, we uh, cream cheese. use ranch, so just easier to grab this way. I'm going to chop these up, give them one final little cleaning, and then get them in the bag. I didn't take no celery. <laughs> This is my mom peeling carrots for some reason. This is not exciting. You don't think they're going to like this video because it's too boring? Is that what you said? Maybe this part. Well. If you want, skip this. <laughs> but still leave her a like. Peeling these carrots so that you guys will always have carrot sticks on hand so that when you come home from school and you're starving, we don't have yeah. to wait for me to peel and chop carrots for you. You can just grab them right out of the fridge. Perfect. Thought you might enjoy that. So even if it's boring, it's still a uh, pretty helpful little tip, don't you think? Yes. And there I have all of my celery and carrots all chopped up and ready just to grab for snacks. Um, we can also use these, you know, I'm planning on making chicken noodle soup so I can pull some from this as well. You know, this is a lot of vegetables just for the kids to eat, especially over the course of a week or two before they go bad. But, um, you know, I figure might as well just get them all chopped up and cleaned and prepared. That way I can save myself the time later. You know, my son asked while I was doing this, you know, why are you going through all of this? Um, I think I got footage of that. Um, and I told him, I said, you know, why do it a little bit at a time when you can just do it all at once? Then they don't have to wait. Um, I know you can buy these sort of things already done, but you save yourself a ton of money if you just buy them in their natural state and do it yourself. I mean, I've got all the time in the world. I'm a stay-at-home mom. If you're, if you work full time, take the shortcut by all means. But um, I have the time, so I might as well invest it. This took all of like 20 minutes. So that's that. I'm gonna get all of this cleaned up. Probably take a little bit of a break, and then we're gonna do corn dog muffins. We're gonna portion out some pretzels and some crackers and that sort of thing and some grapes and then I think I'll be done I need to check my list maybe I'm forgetting something but uh, yeah so hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far is it boring my son kept saying um, nobody's gonna watch this it's boring so we'll see so I didn't show myself doing this but all I did was take the product out of the large package these are just the uh, Aldi brand Cheez-Its and I portioned them out into little individual bags. So I just weighed it out per serving on my little scale here. A serving of these is 28 crackers or 30 grams. So I just measured out 30 grams and transferred them into these little box or little baggies. Um, if you use these snack size glad bags, be careful because they can be really difficult to close. You really want to make sure you get a good seal. Obviously, I had my seven year old helping me, and every other bag that he sealed needed to be resealed. So, you know, just be aware of that. But I did that with the Cheez Its and the pretzels. So now these are all separated into little individual portions. You can just grab them and go. I'm probably going to pop these right back into this box if they will all fit. Uh, and throw them into my cupboard so that they're ready to go. And that's one more thing done. So here are my muffins. They have cooled to completion. Um, you can see that I started out with a dozen and a half and I have less than that now. All my little helpers needed to taste test. They assure me that the muffins are delicious. So I know that the ones in the green wrapper are the honey brand muffins and the ones in the blue wrapper are the apple cider muffins. So I'm just going to put them into this freezer bag. I'm going to label the bag with what they are and the date, and these are going to go right into my freezer, and then these will be great. Um, they can be pulled out for breakfast. My children generally eat breakfast at school, but, um, you know, sometimes they want to eat at home, so we can pull that out, throw it with a banana, and that's a great breakfast. Um, I can pull it out of the freezer and pop it into a little Ziploc bag, and my son can take it for a snack. By the time they have snack time, it'll be thawed and ready to eat. And then, of course, they can always pull these out after school for a quick snack as well. Um, 
So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get those packaged up and into the freezer. And what's next? Um, I think we're gonna do Rice Krispie Treats and Corn Dog Muffins next. I don't think I'm going to do the oatmeal peanut butter bars today. Um, we got started a little bit later than what I wanted to. My helpers all slept in, so they begged me not to start without them and to wait until they woke up. They all slept in, and then they all crapped out on me after we did the applesauce. I've had no help for the most part. Um, my oldest son has done a little bit of helping clean up in between things, and he's helped me do some filming, but uh, none of them are interested in helping um, cooking anymore. They just want to do the, all the tasting, so <laughs> you know how that goes. Um, my youngest son did help me seal up all of the bags for those... Um, pretzels and crackers you can see here I just transferred all of those little bags of pretzels into a larger bag and then I put all of the um, individual portioned crackers right back into the cracker box so those will go into my cupboard um, so I've had a little bit of help but not as much help as I anticipated and we got a little bit of a later start it's already two o'clock um, so I think we're just gonna finish up with the Rice Krispie Treats and the corn dog muffins um, oh and the grapes we gotta still wash and portion out the grapes so Boy, it's a long day, but you know what? I'm going to be so glad when this is done. We have all of these awesome snacks, and I don't think about it again for another month or so. So, yeah. So, I ended up making some banana bread. Um, I, while I was searching for the ingredients for my Rice Krispie Treats, I found a couple of bananas that were well past... Um, edibility so I just decided to make them into banana bread. I looked up a recipe really quick. This was not in the plan at all. I have no idea if this recipe is going to be any good. I didn't have any baking soda so I looked up a recipe with baking powder. I'll link the recipe down below that I used. I didn't have a loaf pan so I put it in this heart-shaped pan. Stuck some parchment paper down there. I have a feeling that this is going to expand a lot. Hopefully it doesn't get all over the place. Um, like I said, this was just a really last minute thing. Um, hopefully it turns out good, we'll see. I'm gonna slide this into the oven and then I'm going to clean up this holy mess that I made because there was a ton of ingredients that went into this. And then I'm going to um, do the Rice Krispie Treats and the corn dog muffins and then we will be done. So oh. while the banana bread is cooking, I thought I would give you a look-see at the applesauce. Um, it's only been in the crock pot for like two and a half hours and already these apples are starting to mash up beautifully. I've just been kind of mushing it around with my spoon here. So I'm probably going to let this go another hour um, and then I'm probably just going to pull it. I don't think it really... See, there's still some big chunks of apple there, but... Uh, I think, I don't think I'm going to put this through a food processor or anything. I think I'm just going to mash it up really well with like a potato masher. Uh, we don't mind chunky applesauce, but it's looking really good. It smells amazing. Um, I pulled one of the apples for the kids to try and they said they're delicious. So once this cooks another hour, I will probably add a little bit more brown sugar and cinnamon. Uh, mash this up really well with a mashed potato masher. Um, and see how the texture is. Um, maybe I'll throw it through my KitchenAid to mash it up a little bit better, but I'm definitely not gonna pull out my food processor for this. I don't think it's necessary, but it's looking beautiful, smelling amazing. Um, other news, we did some Rice Krispie Treats. I didn't bother to show those either because I feel like everybody knows how to make Rice Krispie Treats. If you don't know how to make Rice Krispie Treats, there is a recipe right there on the box. Um, it's just six cups of uh, Rice Krispies, you melt the bag of marshmallows down with a little bit of butter, mix everything together. It's a ooey gooey sticky mess. Um, I usually just oil my hands, press it into the pan here, and then once it cools, you can cut it and then you're done. Um, my kids protested loudly when I told them we weren't doing oatmeal peanut butter squares, so I guess I'm going to do those too. And that's a very similar thing. It's just a three ingredient um, recipe. Uh, it's just peanut butter. Oh my gosh, there's a mess behind me. Um, it's just peanut butter and honey and, you know, quick oats, really quick and easy. You melt the peanut butter and honey, it's a no-bake thing, mix it all together and press it into a pan and then you cut it into bars. It's really easy. Um, there's a recipe that I found on Pinterest that I will link down below. I'm not going to bother showing you that process because I feel like this video is already really long. My son says it's really boring, so, um, I don't know, I'm just going to go ahead and knock those out and wash and portion out my grapes. Um, I'll show you guys the corn dog muffins here in a bit and then everything will be done I'll show you everything we made today and uh, That'll be it. So I don't know if this is boring. Is this boring? Let me know This is the mess that I've got going on and I went to go and get my dishes washed up so that I could move on to the next thing and This so I live in a mobile home park 
and they've been doing a lot of construction and working on it and it seems like every other day they have turned my water off for something. I get no warning. Oh, I'm so angry. I have so much stuff that I still want to do, but without water, I'm kind of stuck. So I think I'm probably going to have to call it a day on my food prep. I didn't get to wash and portion my grapes. Didn't get to make my corn dog muffins, but I think I did everything else on the list. I've got my oatmeal, peanut butter bars done, my Rice Krispie treats and everything else. So my banana bread is beeping right now to come out of the oven. I'm going to get everything out and put it all out on the table, show you everything we accomplished today. Didn't quite get everything done because of that technic or that those technical difficulties, but uh, I'm so angry, I'm so angry. I am almost done. I guess I'll have to finish it up tomorrow, but I'm gonna get that banana bread out of the oven now. Okay, so here is everything that I managed to accomplish today. Looking at it here, it doesn't seem like all that much, but uh, took a good four hours of my day, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. So we have the banana bread here. This is still cooling. It's uh, going to be cut into slices and then frozen. Got the Rice Krispie Treats all cut up. The carrots and celery cut up. This has already been in the fridge. I just pulled it out to share with you again. The muffins that I did in the freezer. Um, here are the cheese it crackers and I just individually packaged those and stuck those back in the box. There are the pretzels that I packaged up. These here are the oatmeal squares. I need to chill these and then cut them into squares and store those. Still gotta wrap those up. And the piece de la resistance. The applesauce. Um, I think this is pretty much done. Look at how beautiful that looks, you guys. Oh, steaming up the lens there. I'm just gonna mash this up a little bit, portion it out, and that's gonna be it. So, thank you guys so much for joining me on my prep cooking today. Hopefully you found it helpful, or at least entertaining, not too boring, like my son would say. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and I will talk to you guys again soon with another meal cooking video. If you're interested, give this video a thumbs up. Um, I, can, I do a lot of prepping for dinners. I do a lot of bulk cooking, um, other baked goods, um, you know, crock pot meals, that sort of thing. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, kind of vlog style, taking you through my uh, prep cooking situation, let me know. Thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye, everyone.